The spring federal budget looms and there are no shortage of concerns about the challenges facing the Canadian economy. Our tax system has increasingly become a focus. Joining us now for his take is Trevin Stratton, Chief Economist at Canadian Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for joining us, Trevin. Thanks, Greg. Let's start then with perhaps what you would like to see. If you got what you wanted out of this spring budget heading into an election on the tax file, what would that be? Well, yeah, no, that's a great question. I mean, I think, uh, you know, when we're talking about the tax system in Canada, there's this common saying that there are only two things that are certain in this world, death and taxes. Well, you'll have to excuse me for sometimes confusing the two, considering the sorry state of our tax system in Canada. The fact of the matter is that our tax system is so far gone that it's no longer fixable. It was created a half century ago. Since then, it's been repeated cutting and pasting. And what we really need is a new tax system built from the ground up uh, that's aligned with the economic realities of today. And so that's why the Canadian business community is calling for a comprehensive review of the Canadian tax system in the form of a royal commission. How, I'm thinking on the other end of it, how disruptive would that be if we're at a point now where we can no longer make the Band-Aid solutions to the current tax system, an entire new system being ushered in? How would that actually work in terms of not disrupting the economy, disrupting uh, businesses and the way that they're accustomed to uh, taking care of their tax matters? Well, the fact is that this is something that was done before with the Carter Commission in the 1960s. Uh, and when we look at the modern day, if we look around the world, this is something that a number of other countries have already pursued. Uh, if we look at New Zealand, United Kingdom, France, uh, the Netherlands, these are countries that have recently done comprehensive tax reviews and tax reform. Uh, and so Canada can't really be caught standing still while all the other, all the other countries are leaping ahead in tax policy. Uh, and so, you know, it can be done at the same time by forming a royal commission. It doesn't have to take as long as it did in the 1960s. We know a lot more about tax policy today than we did then. It would probably take around a couple years. And then the suggestions coming out of that on how to improve our economy, make it more competitive through our tax system can be adopted. Now, the headline that we often see from business groups is that they want lower corporate taxes so they can be more competitive. And they say they can grow their business that way. Are there other areas that you have concern with other than just the overall tax rate? Yeah, that's a very good point. And we, you know, when I talk to businesses, they're not just saying cutting rates, corporate or personal income taxes. They're saying to look at adjusting the tax mix. Obviously, there are a lot of different types of taxes, corporate taxes, personal income taxes, property taxes, inheritance taxes, et cetera, et cetera, excise taxes. Uh, and so Canada derives a lot more federal revenue from corporate and personal income taxes than a lot of other countries. And so if we look at adjusting that mix, then we might be able to improve the competitiveness of our economy, help it grow, create jobs in a way that's fiscally sustainable. Do we need to do it in a way that is perhaps more intelligent than what the Americans did? I mean, we saw the big jump up in the stock market when Trump won the White House, and we've seen uh, the immediate benefits of the big corporate tax cuts, but they are continuously building onto that debt pile. I don't think that's something we want to do in Canada. Yeah, definitely not. And the business community is very concerned about our fiscal position, and also because there might be economic headwinds coming too, and our ability to engage in countercyclical spending going forward as well. But there are a lot of other examples apart from what the U.S. did um, that are great examples on how to do tax reform. Right? New Zealand is a shining example of what was done. Uh, the United Kingdom, France, as I mentioned as well. Uh, and so there are also other aspects apart from just the rate cuts that the U.S. did that could help improve our tax system too. I mean, I think we rank. 41st in the world when it comes to the time it takes to pay and, and do our taxes, uh, you know, that's, that's somewhat shameful. And there's definitely room for improvement there uh, in terms of simplifying the system that would have a huge impact not only on the entire business community, but specifically for small businesses as well. Does that become the real trick? I'm thinking about this government in particular. Uh, obviously, they want a mandate on going into deficit, but not to the size that they did. So anything they do, they really worry about the revenue streams coming in. Are there concrete measures they can take even before we overhaul the whole system that makes it easier for business without hitting the coffers. 
Well, that's, I mean, you know, we saw some of these measures in the fall economic statement in terms of accelerated capital cost allowance, and the business community was definitely very appreciative of that, though they feel that it didn't necessarily go far enough. But one of the problems is that, you know, kind of these small measures just exacerbate the problem that already exists, right? It's just more cutting and pasting when we've been doing this for five decades already. Uh, and so what we really need is to do, a, you know, an actual ground-up build of a new tax system that's much more aligned with uh, an innovation economy, with a modern economy of today. All right, Trevin, thanks for your time. Thanks, Greg. That was Trevin Stratton, Chief Economist of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce.